Gorgeous. This is beautiful. How you doing, man? Perfect. Thanks. And you? So good. It's so good to have you, dude. I have to tell you, like, I'm so rarely in the company musically of somebody who makes me absolutely jealous. And I listen to your videos and I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, look at this dude go. <laughs> hey, man. Thanks. I was just, just uh, watching the video yesterday you did with Christian. Mm -hmm. And I heard what you, what you talk, talked about me. It was, man. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? You look young. I'm 26. 26, unbelievable. So how you've been playing this music your whole life, right? You're in, in, in the band yeah, with your dad? Exactly. I actually grew up with the music and uh, because of my dad, he's the, the rhythm player. And yeah, so that's, that's awesome. Your English is great, dude, too, which is like such a, <laughs> a oh, rarity. You're like you. writing me back and I'm like, whoa, this dude, this dude's crushing it. Okay, we're going to have to start off with you showing me that triplet lick that you do downwards like that you always do like this these things like like all, all these kind of runs with the downstrokes how uh, yeah, what, yeah. what's going on there what's going on with your right hand it's off the chain dude <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be honest for me it's, it's not very easy to to explain i mean uh of course i'm not i'm not uh uh very very good at, at the theory i mean yesterday you had to talk with with christian and he's he's not 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 only a great musician he's also one of the masters of the gypsy jazz theory but uh for me it's very uh very natural to i don't i don't know how to explain um don't explain show <laughs> <laughs> you so okay you mean uh that makes something like Exactly, oh, exactly that. Okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, can you just I angle the do... camera down a little bit so we can see your right hand? Okay, one second. Perfect. Yeah. I hope it helps. Yeah, perfect. My dog's freaking out because he knows he's about to see a good lick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The motion there is just. So when you're crossing strings, it's just like down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. That's what you're doing. Yeah, it's uh, when I when I play uh, a few notes on one on one string, I always start with, of course with the, with the down uh -huh. and uh, and uh, down, up, down, up, down, up. And if I if I go to the next string, I, I play every time I play it down. Also when I go uh, physically up. So, I'm yes, always pressing. and that motion is so smooth. Like the, the, I think the thing that's so weird is, um, you know, when people play like, like let's say, like you know, minor <laughs> swings, something like that, and you know, their lines are just in those kind of rhythms where it's like triply, like take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, and then you have to kind of play consecutive downstrokes, like da 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 da. Like how how do you like when you have a new motion that you work on? I mean. When you're practicing something that's technically challenging, what's your routine like? Like, is it just repetition or what do you do? I think, yeah, I think it just, uh, I just played like for, for a thousand of times and <laughs> until, until I, 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 I don't want to hear it anymore, but, but then, then it, I think it sticks in, in my mind and in the hand. So yeah, just, I don't, I don't, uh, really of course i slow down a little bit but yeah but that's all i just can you try I, I i usually just talk but can you i'm, I'm just like fanboying over here so can you just play something for a minute <laughs> of course thank Wait, you <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> yeah, dude. Sick. 
Thank absolutely, you. absolutely sick. So tell me a little bit about your life. Like you, you said you started because of your dad, but this is like how young? Uh, I, I started to, to play seriously. I started to uh, with, I think, around six or seven years. When I was six or seven years old, and uh, exactly, yeah, my dad uh, showed me some some chords, and actually, he's a rhythm guitar player. So the the solo thing, I I had to to study by myself, just uh, like listening to recordings and repeat it. And you know. your dad doesn't solo at all? Not really. He he, he does some some, uh, but but he don't like to play a lot. I don't know why. But he's he's very he's very under yeah he, he don't really? like to, to solo no but he, but he loves playing chords he plays in your band yeah i mean uh he's he's actually very good uh, rhythm guitar player i'm yeah. very happy uh, that, that uh, it's kind of luxury for me to play with him and uh yeah it was it was uh, pretty pretty hard to be honest at the beginning to to learn the the rhythm from him because he's a very uh, straight teacher and he Yes. And what, what, what was the learning like? What, what do you mean straight teacher? Like how? What, yeah, what he's, like? he, uh, he, he, I was not able to, to, to do the, the mistakes, you know, he was, he was like, don't uh, do that. Don't do this. Kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. And <laughs> especially because he's my dad. So it was, was more worse <laughs> for me. Sure. But, but, but now I'm, I'm very happy because, uh, yeah. Yeah. You play the wrong chord. You don't get dinner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. It's crazy, dude, because I, I mean, I tour with my band, but I can't imagine like my dad playing bass. You know, it's like you, you can't uh, there will definitely be less drinking and uh, like, you know, no, no cocaine and hookers for sure. And uh, yeah, <laughs> OK, uh, but like, how, how is it like tra traveling with your dad? I mean, uh, yeah, I'm I'm. I'm very happy, of course, to play with him. Uh, we play in, now. We play for at least ten years together in the in the in this band. And a lot of people ask me after the concerts, uh, "How is it to 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 work with your dad?" I mean, um, for for us, for us uh, CNT people, it's very it's very common to 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 stay very close together with the family. And um, but my dad, he's he's now he's about fifty, and and he's very He's, he's not not like like one of the old guys, you know. He's yeah. He's very cool. He's uh, yeah. It's, so you don't you don't have to like hide your drink. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> because uh, I actually don't drink that much. But uh, the thing is, my my dad uh, and and our bass player Joel, they having fun. They're drinking, and I have to drive. Oh, nice, dude! Your bassist is something from another planet. Frightening, so good. How'd you meet He's, him? We, um, the yeah, he lives, he lives also in Stuttgart where I live. And my dad uh, knew him before, like for around uh, 20 years, I think now. And so, when uh, when my dad uh, stopped to play with with his band, uh, he said, Okay, let's let's form a uh, like a trio with, with you and. We just need a bass player, and he said he came up with the idea to ask Joel, and I was very happy. I mean, for now we play. He's he's also in the band since since the beginning, and now we we we're like brothers. It's it's really cool to play with him. It's that, it's a monster bass. Oh my god! So how much playing do you guys do in a month? Like how many how many days a month are you guys playing shows? Do you guys tour? What's going on with the with the band in terms of traveling? At the moment, we uh, so first of all, uh, I have to say, uh, my dad and me, we are we are uh, doing the the booking by by ourselves. So we nice. We have, we have some uh, some agencies in Germany. They they're working for us. They they bring like a few gigs in here, but uh, the most the most part we we're doing by by ourselves. So uh, that's one of the of the of the business part. So. We are very uh, busy with that, of course. Of course. And, uh, at the moment, uh, now it's it's April. We have, I think, around fifty or sixty gigs for this year now. And right. yeah, I mean, could be could be better, but but I'm very happy. 
really that's awesome you know in marvin we play between like 200 250 nights a year and we do all the booking we do yeah, everything awesome. <laughs> yeah our saxophone player just sits there on the computer like all day just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you guys have you ever been to the states playing uh i i was actually in uh, last september i was with with uh, christian i was mm -hmm. playing in uh, jungle fest mill valley near san francisco mm, yeah um I was with uh, Tommy Davy from Los Angeles. He was the rhythm player, and the bass player from the festival called the it's the organizer. It's called Simon Planting, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. But now we, uh, for this year we will play at the Django Fest Northwest uh, in Seattle with with my trio actually. Oh, uh, that's awesome. Uh, but but with with also with with Simon on the bass and uh, with um, with Lud uh, Ludovic Bayer, the accordion player from Paris. We just uh, oh, recorded a live together, and yeah, I'm looking forward. It will be. That's fun. unbelievable, dude. Man, okay, play us another thing. I just want to watch you play, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> play, 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 play like a play like a version of Nuage. I want to see how you do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. that thing you do, and like there's so many things. See, my dog's freaking out every time you play those licks. Milton, I know. This dude's a psycho. <laughs> so fucking sick. I also, like, you do this thing, like when you when you went from like the C minor, like the like to the like to the seven right there. I mean, again, I for me it's like you know I guess the way that I learned guitar, it's like you know I have like I'm always thinking like he's going to the seven on this. He's going to that. But like in your like what so like if you had to describe not like linguistically like the seven of this is but like what's in your mind when you're playing? It's just like the thing itself, right? It's like I mean, I don't know. Like what I guess what the the mystery about people that grow up like you and that study like you for people like me is what are they thinking? Like <laughs> it's uh I mean as I told you it's it's very it's very natural for me. Uh I was I also talked with, with uh Christian about uh, about the same in a video that he uh did for his channel and he asked me something about how uh how to hold the pig and I mean for me it's very natural. I, I never actually I never thought about uh, how to hold a pig or how's the perfect position for the hands or something so uh i uh, when i when i think about about playing i just think about the, the left hand so of, of the ideas what to play and i think a very uh, important thing for me is to uh, i i actually listen to a lot of uh, to a lot of uh, swing music like like big band stuff mm -hmm. and singers like like frank sinatra ella everything and uh, because I like the uh, that 
I don't know how to explain the swing feeling. It's the it's bounciness. Not, yeah, something you, you you cannot you can you can learn it like just read something and then you have it. I mean, I just I just uh, listened to it since years. I love this music, and so I I started to to figure out how to uh, change my my licks. Maybe for example, I play something like. Uh, Something like this, and then I think about how how it could be more swinging. So, so I add some some notes, not only because of the notes, but more more for the for the rhythmical uh, aspect. Like, uh, for example, that's a standard thing, and then I right. um, add something like. Ah, bing, can't do that. Then go. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Or yeah. Uh, even even if I don't if I don't add some some uh, notes, I play things like um, for example, just major league. Uh, then I uh, try to to uh, to play a bit with with the timing like. Or, that, that I see. That's funny because it's like that's a lot. Like it seems to me, like me and like me and you, when we practice, we do something very similar. But I don't think you really question so much maybe the names of the original thing that you're varying. Like you have the standard thing that you're. Oh. Like that that kind of thing, and then you just you're like I have this thing. Now let's try to apply it in a lot of ways. Let's displace it like between like one, two, where to do the dead to do the dump it on, where to do the do do what the do So you're playing around, moving parts, seeing like many ways you can kind of expand the thing into other things. Exactly. This is like, I think me and Christian, when we're talking, this is a maybe, I don't want to call it a disagreement, but like a different view. Because I always say that, like, you know, you heard what I said, but, like, you know, the musical Legos, right, that we mm. use, like, the pieces to build our solos and build our composition, the question is, if you break those apart, and is there value in study what they're made of, or should you just kind of learn it, be able to, like, crush, like, obviously, you put in, like, thousands of hours into crushing every piece of vocabulary, because it's just, like, like, flowing out of you, um, which is absolutely what you should do, too. You know, but then, like, I love what you're describing, which is really rhythmic displacement, right? And also, once you have it, to gain some sort of freedom, maybe, like, listen to Louis or to Ella and see how they're yeah. approaching it and slide it around around the music. Let's talk a little bit about, like, um, I, I want to say, like, vocabulary on, like, something, something that most people know in Gypsy Jazz, like minor swing or something. Like, mm -hmm. if you were to play... Just can you can you just like play kind of a chorus for us, and and then we'll we'll talk a little bit about what you're doing. Minor swing. Yeah, just like a chorus solo. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, I noticed like when you get to that, like when you get to that dominant chord, you're going for this kind of sound, not the, not like that. So yeah. So w when you think of when you're playing on that dominant chord, like mm -hmm. what what kind of licks occur to you if you just had to play on an E7 for a while in that context? It seems to me like mm -hmm. you're really going for a modern kind of sound. It, yeah, it's it's uh, it's. I think it's it's up to. The, it depends on, also on the on the on the on the on the song. Like usually, I don't I don't play that that kind of of modern uh, stuff on on minor swing because minor swing is like like one of the traditionals. So uh, I like uh, to play more more straight, like more more jangle like. But but I don't know. Sometimes I I feel. When I wanna do stuff like 
it's mm. like not not very uh, very common in, in gypsy jazz, but I think it it adds something. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it sounds great. It sounds it sounds like you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that great. Like I'm I'm actually gonna go back after we're done with this video and like steal all your shit and pray something sticks. Uh, <laughs> But that, it's just, it's unbelievable, dude. I mean, really, like, I don't, I don't fanboy very often, but it's like, you know, I realize about, I, there's probably a lot of people who I make feel bad about their playing, but you need to know that you make me feel bad about mine, which is, which is great. <laughs> Cause, cause, yeah, because I need to, you know, because it's like, it's good to, like, you know, sit at home and be like, fuck. Like, do you remember, like, probably in high school for you, but you're like, how... Like, oh, I got to get it, right? It's like, how many, what was your day like when you were like in your heavy practice mode? Was it guitar all day? I was, I was uh, just, when I, when, I, when I came back from school, I, I just put up the, the guitar and I started to play like until, I don't, it, it, it was like, I was playing for, it feels like the, the whole day, of course, but I think I, I played like, Sometimes I play like eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but, but now I, uh, yeah, it, it's, of course, it's harder to, to play like eight hours a day. It's, it's not when possible you're an anymore. Adult, yeah. Sure. Yeah. But yeah, when, uh, you're, when you're a kid, it's the time to do it because it's like you, you really, you don't have any responsibility. Girls are like, uh, and it's like, yeah. no, nobody, nobody owns your time. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, my dad said it to me all the time. He said, "Now, now's the time. Practice, practice. If you want to to uh, to to get some some level, practice, do it." And so, I, yeah, I, I just did, and I was not. I never, I never thought about uh, to. From of course, for me, it was it was clear in my mind to to that I wanted to be a professional musician. But but I mean, uh, I'm so I'm so blessed that. Uh, that we play in the trio, and I played in, in for example, in the states now uh, last year. With, with I met I meet so so many people like like Christian, mm -hmm. and now I play. Um, I'm very honored to play with guys like Stocholo on stage, Stocholo Rosenberg. Unbelievable! Or, it's it's really cool for me now. So, at but at that moment when I was a kid, I was not uh, really think thinking about uh, what I have to to reach like. Like a goal or something. I was just I love the music and I still love love it and so that's why I, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's no, it's, it's wonderful. It's really wonderful. How integral was YouTube for your development? Were you watching a lot of video of people or were you listening to records mainly? Uh, I think uh, different. I think, uh, but but the most. Uh, Common thing I was I was doing uh, was was uh, listen to recordings, no video. Not not at all. I think uh, the time uh, just just I was I was too, too I was a little bit before the the real mm. uh, right because you, you started yeah. so young. So, yeah, you're you're young now, but you also started young. So this is what twenty years ago. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's so funny. I didn't, I didn't think about that. That's great. So what is your practice like now? I mean, I'm assuming you just do a lot of playing, but if you just pick up the guitar from the stand and, and you're in the mindset to work on something, what's it look like to work on something for you? What are things you're working on? Uh, it's, uh, it's really hard to, to, to explain also because, uh, of course, I try to... Uh, to, to to play new stuff or, or uh, apply some new stuff in my playing like like some licks or I don't know or sometimes I just want to to play around a bit and uh, sometimes I, I I try to to make new new stuff like new songs of course and uh, what what some sometimes it, it works sometimes not but uh, for me I, I don't have I don't have a plan when I when I pick up the guitar. I just start to play. Sometimes I play uh, with with some back, backing tracks when my mm -hmm. dad is not here. So, uh, but but the most I think the most time when I when I practice I play with my dad. So 
We just mm. play uh, random songs and. That's unbelievable. You're like that playtime. Like, how does that work? Yeah, he, for, for, I mean, uh, as I told you, it's it's a luxury thing where they have. He's he. Uh, we we live very close. I live like 500 meters from my uh, parents' apartment, so I just uh, I we we see us every day. So uh, when I when I'm there, uh, we, we just pick up the guitars and start to play. And, oh my uh, god, that's yeah, unbelievable, man! Now now I want to make kids just just to do that. That sounds fun as for your dad too. <laughs> 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 what a connection. That's awesome. Man, can you play a little bit of all of me for us? I'm sorry to keep making you play. I just I'm, I'm just loving fun. loving watching it. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> shit good shit man i love it all the chromatic stuff and i and i really like that like you're using like all the whole tone like that that whole tone stuff on the a7 really nice stuff <laughs> really nice stuff dude so how much touring have you done have you have you been on like you know long tours or just as it like one-offs for you I think the most, uh, the most, uh, what we're doing is uh, we just we just play over the over the whole year. So uh, it's more like uh, like a gig there, like a concert there, festival there, and uh, maybe I think uh, about five or six days in a row. And that's, oh man! Any uh, any aspirations? Do you want to go in the van for like a month? I would love it, of course, of course. Yeah, dude. You should, you should do yeah. that. It's it's you should. I mean, you would crush it here. This people. This is the one thing that, um, for me, I know about about the United States. When we started, everybody told us you can't do it in the states, and we we went everywhere in the south, like dive, like everywhere. Now we play every market in the states, and everywhere people love this kind of music. Like you know, we play fusion, but people like Gypsy Jazz has really been on the up and up, and. I mean, I just, it's only impossible because the people booking it think it's impossible because they don't know and they never tried. And, the, but there's yeah. people here, like the, I mean, I'm telling you, like the potential of like, you know, you're a trio here, like just going in a van, you know, you probably make the same money you make in Europe and draw a lot of people, but it's just a matter since you're self booked, it's a matter of thinking it's possible getting the van and going. And just booking the shows because it's and in the states it's so much easier to book shows than in europe you just call you set the date there's no problem it's easy to get people on the phone they all speak the same language which you speak mm. very easy very doable so i mean yeah, we should we should arrange something yeah yeah Why i mean not? that's because it's like a lot of the gypsy people tend to gravitate towards the festival but if you have like a do-it-yourself kind of mentality and you're willing to assume the risk you know, you get the festival to pay for your, you know, get a good money gig to get your tickets here and then just get the van. You guys don't need any gear. There's nice jazz clubs in every town. People will come out to see this. 
you know, it's very, it's very possible. You guys could play like, you know, do like a two month tour if you want. It's a, you know, it takes one month to get from Chicago to the West Coast and back if you're playing every day. So, I mean, there's so many markets here. It's really crazy. Yeah, you know? it would be really, really great. Maybe, maybe I have to talk with, with the guys, but, but I think my dad and also Joel, the they're really into it yeah man because it's like the people watching this the mar- you know the, they're mostly in the states and i mean and uh, uh, as soon as i mentioned your name you know a lot of people were very excited so people are checking it out so it, that's really good let me tell you th- let me ask you this so i've started posting like all these videos and i keep labeling it gypsy jazz and you know that like americans now are offended for for your people they're like you can't say gypsy in gypsy jazz anymore how, is this a surprise to you too? Uh, it's very. It's, uh, I heard about also here in Germany. I mean, it's uh, personally for me, it's it's not, it's not a problem really. Yeah. I, I mean, it's like uh, you can you can say it in, in in both ways. You know, it's like when you when you like the music, the gypsy jazz, and and you're interested in the culture of the people. I don't know. It's it's not a, really a bad word. It became a bad word, of course. What what happened? But I mean, uh, you can also use it like ah, oh, man, uh, gypsy. You know, it's like how the I mean the the yeah. the, the intention behind it. it is what, yeah, the, the intention is what matters. Like I, I don't know. It's like for me, it's weird because it's like you know, I'm I'm Jewish from Israel, living in the states, but I spend all my time, like my free time, that I don't have to like do stuff for my band, listening to. You know your guys' music because <laughs> I think you guys crush it, and I was like, You can't say that. I'm like, What? <laughs> That's how I found it. What, what am I supposed to Google? <laughs> to go, I, I won't find any videos if I if I put out the, that word, it'll just be jazz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my, that's funny. All right. You're going to have to play one more thing for us. How about Dark Eyes? Can you play Dark Eyes? Dark Eyes, okay. <laughs> I love it. I love the sound you get. It's like so percussive, but round. I'm gonna spend some time with my with this video, and and rob you. <laughs> no, no, man. I would really love it if you got if you guys need contacts for places in the states and stuff. Please hit us up. We have like long lists, and uh, definitely be happy to to help you guys in 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 any ways, way, shape, or form that we could. Man, Gizmo. I, I really want to like thank you for your time. Like you're more than generous, and playing is awesome. And I, I know lots of people are gonna like dig this video and thank really you. watch thank it. You. So it yeah, of fun. course. And and what online? Where can they find your stuff? Where should they? Where's the best place to follow you to buy music? To of course, uh, um, I. I uh... I work on my on my website all the time. It's it's every time the, all the, uh, the tour dates are, are very uh, new. So uh, ismograph dot uh, com or uh, on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. Great. I mean, great. We try to to be everywhere. <laughs> well, you're doing a good job. You got to me, and uh, I'll, I'm gonna keep listening as uh, and fanboying over your music. So <laughs> I really, I really love it. Man, this is awesome. I'm very happy to, to, to get some compliments of, of such a great musician like you. <laughs> Dude, wow. This is, this is, 
we have been like really on my playlist for the last like three four weeks almost exclusively so i'm, I'm really into it studying <laughs> yeah man so i really appreciate your time and we'll do this again sometime you'll show us more licks once i get some of your licks down i'm gonna be like part two it's like how you do this how you do this play this tune play that tune. <laughs> perfect perfect uh, i'll post i'll post this today and, and we'll see I'll, I'll do a watch party on our facebook too so we're gonna i'll re-watch and talk to everybody while we, while we analyze your stuff <laughs> cool, cool. and then you know since you since you said that you don't know what you're doing we'll explain it to you later <laughs> right? well, so you said you, you don't know exactly how to explain what you're doing so we're gonna figure it out and tell you yeah that, that's that's great <laughs> I can learn something. Thanks. <laughs> Dude, I'll talk to you soon, man. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.